New outrage over that report, which shows Down syndrome has virtually disappeared in Iceland due to a nearly 100% abortion rate for Icelandic mothers who find out they're carrying babies with a genetic disorder. Joining me now, Tony Perkins, president of the Family Research Council. Uh, good morning, Tony. I want to read a tweet from actress Patricia Heaton on one of the best shows out there, by the way, The Middle. She says this, Iceland isn't actually eliminating Down syndrome. They're just killing everybody that has it. Big difference. Your response. Well, true. Uh, Iceland is not eradicating a disease, it's eradicating a people, and CBS seems to be celebrating that fact. Look, this is, uh, this is troubling. When you have two or possibly three out of uh, a population of 300,000 being born with Downs, this is, uh, this is moving toward a utilitarian view of life, and it's troubling to where this might lead. I mean, today it's children with Downs, tomorrow it's uh, seniors with dementia, then it's middle-aged people with diabetes. So where does this stop? Well, uh, we have a quote from one of the counselors there who apparently works at the hospital and, and talks women through this. And now, listen, they admit the testing is not foolproof the way that they do it because right. there are occasionally people that have a Down syndrome baby that weren't expecting it because the testing didn't show it, which raises the question about whether there are babies that don't have Downs that are being aborted because their mothers are told they have Downs. But this is what we hear from one of the hospital counselors. She says, uh, we don't look at abortion as a murder. We look at it as a thing that we ended. We ended a possible life that may have had a huge complication, preventing suffering for the child and for the family. And I think that is more right than seeing it as a murder. That's so black and white. Life isn't black and white. Life is gray. Uh, the same person said, listen, mothers have a right to choose what their life is going to look like. Yeah, and look, here in the United States, unfortunately, we still we have a problem. It's not to this degree, but we still see a large number of uh, prenatal tests that come back positive. And as you pointed out, these are not 100% accurate. And what happens? These mothers abort these babies. These are individuals who can be, uh, they can gain education, uh, they can vote, they can work in society, they bring happiness uh, to families and to society. And to say that, uh, you know, they should be eliminated because they have... Uh, potentially have uh, Downs is is troubling and, and but there's something bigger here Shannon it, when we look in Iceland in particular those age 25 and below according to Gallup do not believe God created the earth and if he didn't create the earth he didn't create human life and so what gives life value is its inherent value because it's created an image of God but when you lose that element that moral foundation anything is possible and what's happened in the last 20 years in Iceland we've gone from a population where 90 percent believe in God to below 50 percent. This is the result of the secularization of society where religion is pushed from the public square and from policy making and America is not far behind. Every human being, regardless of what uh, zip code they were conceived with or what test that may show, has value because it's created in the image of God. That has been a fundamental understanding in our society in this country going back to the very beginning. I want to play a little sound from former Alaska governor, former VP nominee Sarah Palin, who talks about how she was fearful when she found out she was having a Downs child and how that's turned out. I can certainly understand why a mother, when receiving that news that their child may have Down syndrome, would be so full of fear. I, I was full of fear. I, I had to really uh, be brought down to my knees and ask God to change my heart and prepare my heart and my, and my eyes and my understanding of, of the purpose in my son's life. And he certainly answered those prayers because the minute that Trig was born, the fear went away. Quick final word, Tony. Well, I understand that. I mean, my wife and I had our fifth child when we were uh, 45 years old, and they encouraged my wife to take the prenatal test to, to see whether or not the baby had Downs because uh, she was a candidate for that because of her age. We said no. Mm -hmm. And w in fact, when I was in the legislature, worked on this because many insurance companies were denying coverage to mothers whose babies tested positive on these inaccurate tests. Therefore, parents were encouraged to abort. Look, this comes back to the inherent value. Every human mm -hmm. life has value because it's created right. in the image of God. We got to leave it there, Tony. Thanks for weighing in. Good to see you.